Mr. Slow by Roger Hargreaves Mr. Slow, as you might well know, or maybe you don't, lived next door to Mr. Busy. He built his house himself, slowly. It had taken him ten years. And, as you might well know, or maybe you don't, Mr. Slow talked in an extraordinarily slow way. He talked like this. And every single thing he did was as slow as the way he talked. For instance, if Mr. Slow was writing this book about himself, you wouldn't be able to read it yet. He wouldn't even have got as far as this page. For instance, if Mr. Slow was eating a currant cake for tea, it took him until bedtime. He'd eat it crumb by crumb, currant by currant, chewing each crumb and each currant 100 times. For instance, last Christmas, it took Mr. Slow until New Year's Day to open his Christmas presents. And then it took him until Easter to write his thank you letters. Oh, he was a slow man. Now, this story isn't about the time Mr. Slow went on a picnic with Mr. Busy. That's another story. No, this story is about the time Mr. Slow decided to get a job. He read all the job advertisements in the Sunday paper, which took him until Wednesday. And then he went and got himself a job reading the news on television. Can you imagine? It was very embarrassing. Good evening, said Mr. Slow. Here is the nine o'clock news. It took him until midnight to read it, and everybody who was watching went to sleep. So that job wasn't any good, was it? Then, Mr. Slow got himself a job as a taxi driver. Take me to the railway station, cried Mr. Uppity as he leapt into his taxi. I have a train to catch at three o'clock. Right, ho, said Mr. Slow and set off at one mile an hour and arrived at the station at four o'clock. So, that job wasn't any good, was it? And that summer, Mr. Slow got a job making ice cream. But by the time he'd made the ice cream, it wasn't exactly the right sort of weather to be selling ice cream. Brr. So, Mr. Slow got himself a job making woolly scarves. But by the time he'd finished making the scarves, it wasn't exactly the right sort of weather to be selling scarves. Phew! Poor Mr. Slow. He went around to ask the other Mr. Men what he should do. Be a racing driver, suggested Mr. Silly. Can you imagine? No. Be an engine driver, <laughs> suggested Mr. Funny. Can you imagine? No, no. 
Be a speedboat driver, suggested Mr. Tickle. Can you imagine? No, no, no. But then, Mr. Happy had an extremely good idea. Most sensible. Be a steamroller driver, he suggested. And today, that is exactly what Mr. Slow does. Slowly backwards and slowly forwards he drives. Up and down, down and up, ever so slowly. The next time you see a steamroller doing that, look and see if Mr. Slow is driving it. If he is, you shout to him, Hello, Mr. Slow! Are you having a nice time? And he'll wave and shout back to you, Yes! Thank you! He'll shout, Good! Bye! Thank you.